Broadcasting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. show on the damage 365 radio network this is episode number eight it's coach kev leading you away today i will be uh joined momentarily after commercial break by warriors of wrestling's joey b jt out on assignment again this week probably getting himself ready for wrestlecon weekend uh all that coming up a little later as uh, we got some great topics to talk about today uh, WWE, Wrestlemania, uh, WrestleCon, Legends of the Ring, Women and Warriors of Wrestling coming up soon in April. Uh, they also have a show coming up in May that they already started to advertise for. We'll have the uh, the fallout from last week's show, the rise and fall of Valkyrie and Chris Leven. Uh, anything else that's happening during this week? There's been some Rikishi news, as well as his his uh, agent Mike Dickinson and that whole debacle. There's also uh, big news, you know, out there about a certain WWE superstar that had a sex tape leaked out on the uh, internet, which it's been all over the last couple days, uh, which affects Damage 365 promotions directly. And uh, we'll get some information out there for the fans who uh, might think they're going to show up to WrestleCon and be uh, disrespectful and ask really stupid questions to one of our guests. Uh, we'll let you know it's not going to happen. So uh, right now, let's take a, um, not a commercial break, but we're going to go into our birthday shout-outs. And then, uh, then we'll go to commercial and we'll come back and we'll be joined by Joey B. So give us a little hour of, uh, of your time, maybe a little bit more. And um, we'll have a great show. Just a little wrestling chat today, a little general talk. Uh, anything uh, the fans you want to add in, give us a shout out on Twitter, Damage 365 Radio, or go to facebook.com forward slash Damage 365. Hit that message button and send us a message, and uh, we'll read your questions and uh, topics that you might have, as long as it's not disrespectful and inappropriate and not off course of today's conversations. So um, sit back, relax, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. For anybody in the audience who's got a birthday today, happy birthday to you. And if you're not down with that, we've got two words for you. Birthday shots, ladies and gentlemen. First, former damage infielder number seven, Tina Calandrello. Happy birthday, Tina. Happy birthday goes out to former damage infielder number 36, Jennifer Shanker. Happy birthday, Jen. And happy birthday goes out to current damage outfielder number one, Chris McNamara. Happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday goes out to former guest on the show, Colin West. Happy birthday, Colin. And Warriors of Wrestling's Tom Juba. Happy birthday, Tom. Happy birthday to all you people celebrating your birthday this week with all these fine people. What's going on, love? This is Ariane Andrew here. You guys are listening to Damage 365 Radio. Yes! The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. The 
Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore in the world famous English Town Flea Market. Blue Building, booths 46 through 48. Check them out for all your wrestling memorabilia needs. They have figures, lucha masks, t shirts, retro collectibles, DVDs, cards, and so much more. You can also pick up tickets to local indie wrestling promotions. That's right, you heard it here on the Damage 365 Radio Network, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore in the world famous English Town Flea Market Blue Building, booths 46, 47, and 48. Check them out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Funkenstein Inc. for more information. This is Eddie Edwards, one half of the Wolves, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio, where the hunt is on! Do you laugh so hard to other podcasts you are a danger on the road? Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. Do you drive your friends crazy going on and on about said podcast? You're an idiot. Do you have trouble falling asleep at night? For six months... I couldn't sleep. If you've answered yes to one or all three of these questions, have no fear. Here, at After the Credits, we have patented a formula of quasi-cogent opinion seasoned with shameless in-bickering to provide you with an experience that is both AAA safe and moderately amusing. So join the dueling duo of Robert Kajowski and Norton every week for the latest in trailer and movie reviews, as well as the occasional TV talk. Because at After the Credits on Damage 365 Radio, we believe in four things. Water's wet, sky's blue, women have secrets. And that listening to our show will guarantee that your insurance premiums will plummet. Neither Robert nor Dorton can legally ensure a smooth experience on the road. Some drivers are chess monsters. Additionally, neither After the Credits nor Damage 365 Radio can legally guarantee any insurance premiums will go down. After the Credits, however, can be heard on the iHeartRadio app available through Google Play and iTunes. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta. Check us out at one of our fine locations, 930 Route 34 in Matawan, New Jersey, or 233 East Main Street in Manasquan, New Jersey. From pizza and salads to pasta and buffalo wings, we have something to suit every member of your family. Whether you're seeking to take out, delivery, or just want to dine in, let us do the dishes. We would be more than happy to take care of your next meal. Our courteous and friendly restaurant staff is here to meet and exceed all your expectations. We promise an enjoyable experience each and every time we serve you. Try our award-winning Sesame Seed Crust Pizza, the recent winner of first place in the Las Vegas Pizza Open in the Artisan's Division. Visit us online at SesameSeedPizza.com for store hours, menus, and phone numbers or just stop by one of our two great locations, you'll be glad you did. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta, so close to eating at Mom's, but without all the yelling. This is former WWE superstar Damian Sandow, now known as Aaron Stevens, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Keep it tuned. You're welcome. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. And hey, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and at this time, I want to welcome in our, our guest for today. So, I guess he's kind of like my co-host today, uh, Warriors of Wrestling's Joey B. Welcome back, Joe. Ah, thank you, thank you. You know, I'm always on my mind, you, you, your viewing numbers... Well, your listening numbers are usually sky high. I think my episode has the most. 
the, from a few weeks ago. The um, the, the Rikishi Fallout show. Uh, yes, it squeaked past. Um, Rob Fury's. It, well, actually, I thought it was the Rob, Rob Fury's was number one. Rob Fury's show actually fell to third. You squeaked past the uh, two bit phony show of Davy Richards and Angelina Love. <laughs> I don't even know if I... Ah, li- uh, yes, I did listen to that one. <laughs> Will you bury those two? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, five seasons, I've only had to do three shows, me personally, where I kind of had to call somebody out and bury them. Uh, Fury did his own show burying somebody. You guys had your Rikishi show burying him. So five times in five seasons, not that bad, considering you know some people do this every show, the way they bury somebody. So. Well, the Warriors radio show, we used to, well, we used to bury people, we used to also call people, and I think that was uh, intriguing to people, because we never knew what we were going to do. I mean, it was live arrest, it was live sex, yeah. live masturbation, all kinds of shit on that show, oh, God. but that's long gone now. You know? we, we tried to uh, call uh, Angelina Love, and <laughs> she didn't answer, and um, and I think we also had that show where we called out that phony um, promoter, where he was um, scamming the... Um, uh, the, the merchandise he was selling the fake autographs. Oh, um, who the fuck was that? Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, all the it was uh, through all D- the people D- that died or something. Well, no, 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 no. He was, he was, he went to, um, he brought in, he brought in the guy from uh, TNA, the guy with the ponytail. Um, and he, um, was it for Bobby? Yeah, it was Bobby Roode. The, the um. And he brought in. He brought him in, and he was selling fake autographs on the table of that guy. Uh, st- <laughs> st- <laughs> what? What the hell is Matt Matriosi? That's it. I don't remember. Matriosi, him. I don't remember. Yeah. I thought you were talking about something else. Yeah. He. Uh, no. No. Not the. Not the. Not. No. Not the Kamal. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, he was selling fake. He was selling a, a storm. Um, I can't remember his first name from TNA, and he was selling. Autographs of him. He brought him into a show and he was selling autographs of him, fake ones, on the table. And he was telling them that they were fake. And he was arguing with them that they weren't. And then he wound up, he didn't have money to pay the guy. And he tried to sneak out. And the cops showed up and it was a whole big disaster. And um, it wasn't the first time it happened. He owed he owed David Mooch uh, a bunch of money for, for Jim the Anvil Nightheart. He was supposed to bring him to the airport and he wound up bringing him to another show behind Dave's back. And they broke down. When was this? When was this? This had to be last winter, because it was up in Buffalo. Oh, was this the guy that was dating that girl? Yes, and she uh, came on. And she, was, she, uh, she was cursing everybody out on Facebook. <laughs> I didn't see that, but I do know. Now who you, Now I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, uh, she's the one that was bringing Sandow around, correct? Yes. No, 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 no. That was a diff- that's Stephanie. That's a different girl. That's... Um... That no, that that's a totally different. Uh, well, her person. boyfriend's from the Buffalo area too. Yes, the Rochester, Buffalo area. Yeah, she. That's where when Sandow first started making her his uh, rounds, that she was around. But he he knows so it's not of, those like, two. Yeah, she he knows of Matt as well. But uh, yeah, this this guy uh, he finally paid uh, Dave back, and um, I don't know if he's still doing the promoting or whatever. But I, I the first time I ever met him, he was at rest. Um, Matt Tremont's Russell Fest a couple of years ago. He brought in Uh-oh. Crazy Steve and um, and 